In Iran, man executed for drinking alcohol. A prisoner was executed in Mashhad Central Prison for drinking alcohol. The prisoner was sentenced to death for drinking alcohol for the sixth time and was executed at dawn on July 9th, 2020. This was one of the few recorded executions for drinking alcohol. Due to the lack of transparency in the Islamic Republic's judiciary, most executions in Iran are not declared officially by the authorities. Um, Mahmoud Amri Mojadam, uh, director of Iran Human Rights, said, quote, with this execution, the Islamic Republic's judicial system has once again proven that its views are no different from those of ISIS, end quote. Uh, well, it is different from ISIS. I don't know why they say that, but it's, yeah, it's barbaric. Um, just to give you guys some context, you, you know, the recent honor killings in Iran where the fathers killed their own, you know, daughters because they had, they were, uh, found with boys that they did not approve and stuff. There was at least three in the past month, right? Which was like, a, um, those men that killed their daughters, they didn't get executed for their crime. They uh, they get a few years in prison, um, but apparently drinking alcohol you could get executed for it. And also just to give you full context, um, for you to get executed for drinking alcohol in Iran, it's not that common. Like this was like a headline news, but that doesn't make this like not a big news. Like this is still shows a lot of barbarism. But usually people get away with drinking alcohol if they know how to hide it and crap like that but but also if you get arrested once for drinking alcohol the first few times i think it, it was either three or four times you just get like whipped 80 times each you know but the fourth time i think you get arrested either it's the fourth time or the third time i think it's the fourth time that then the punishment is execution which is really sad because if you get caught f fourth time that means like you probably have a drinking problem and you need like a uh, support and you need, like, I don't know, you need a community of people to help you with. Like, imagine if you get arrested three times and you're getting whipped every time for it and you're still drinking. You probably have an addiction that you need support and help and some mental health experts to come and, uh, you know, you need help. You don't need to get executed, right? Like, this, this part, these people probably don't, are not choosing to drink alcohol every goddamn time, even if they, you know. So... Yeah, they got executed for it. But it, I mean, it, you know, in it's, you know, you would remember that if if it's important for you to keep mentioning those uh, like context, like I'm saying, telling you, like if I say like, oh, this doesn't happen often, and uh, you guys, uh, some people might think I'm dismissing how serious this news is. But if you don't give that context, then the people who know the context might use it to to show like, look, you're not giving the full context, you're not being honest. Uh, and you guys making this, making the big deal out of this, but how often this has happened in Iran. So it's important that when you're pointing out the barbarism that is involved uh, in here, you also give the full context just so that people know that you're a credible source. Um, and another thing, another thing I want to point out is that this, um, some people might wonder why would the government do this? Because the, not everything they do is following every line in the Quran, right? Like, so... The government of Iran is a theocracy, but they're picking and choosing a lot of times which which Islamic things to follow and which ones not to. Uh, and it seems like an execution like this seems to be very inconvenient for the image. Like the Iranian government obviously does care. Like some people claim that it doesn't care, but no, it does really care about its image around the world. It does like to pretend like it stands for human rights. And you know, to, and shame countries like Israel and United States for you know being, you know, for not following human rights. I know that sounds uh, you know moronic, but yeah, that's what they do. Um, but um, and I mean, it's moronic given their own human rights record, right? But then you might ask them, why would they do something like this, uh, given that politically doesn't seem to be convenient for them at all to do so? Well, the the reason is that they also have internal struggles and they have a religious community that they need to be um responding to like that they have a base that if they if they go too far away from not um you know enforcing islamic rules they might be fall you know they have a minority um, re very religious fundamentalist 
community of people that back the government. And even though it's not most of the country, if they lose that, then they have no support to go by. So they do need to cater to them sometimes. And also, they might. They, they another reason why, if they listen to, like, if they give in to some human rights violations and not do them anymore, they do think that that might make people more demanding, right? So if people say that, hey, like, cut this out, you can't, you can't execute people for drinking alcohol. And if they say, like, you know, if we give in to this demand, it's not going to make these human rights advocates go away. What it's going to signal to them is that we're weak. And if you pressure us uh, too much, then we will bend the knee. And then the Iranian government, like, we have to show to them that, no, we're, we're not going to listen to you or else they're going to get too demanding. So that's another thing that goes in their calculation. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Um, just to provide some more context, so technically the penal code um, was amended in 2013 and it goes as follows, where anyone commits the same offense punishable by had three times and each time the had punishment is executed upon him or her, the had punishment on the fourth occasion shall be death penalty. The defendant can therefore face the death penalty after being arrested and punished three times for alcohol consumption. And a quote from the um, man's lawyer, his lawyer's name is Hossein Habibi Shahri. Um, the prisoner's lawyer told Iran Human Rights, my client was arrested in 2016 or 17. He was convicted of drinking alcohol for the sixth time. Of course, there was also the issue of driving without a license and being in possession of alcohol. So it does sound like this guy maybe had um, a medical condition in the form of alcoholism that could have been treated appropriately. Yeah. Well, I was going to say he keeps drinking because he lives in a country that kills people for drinking. I mean, that kind of shit would drive anybody to want to be numb. I'm making a joke. It's a, it's a, you know, what they call black humor, but yeah, dark, dark, dark humor. But yeah, but I, I see what you're saying. But to be fair, most most people, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to Go say on. like uh, this is uh, from an article I uh, read. This is like one of the 123 executions just this year in Iran, and uh, uh, most of the others, like over 100 of the others, were basically premeditated murder, uh, drug-related cases, and rape cases. So. It shows that like execution for drinking is like really rare because we uh, just this year there have been like over a hundred cases and just this one is like not at all something serious. The rest of uh, um, the offenses are quite serious, so I think uh, that shows it's not really that uh, that big of a deal to be executed uh, for drinking in Iran. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you we think is no. And oh look, oh they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like. No, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 